Tonight we'll be going around this tropical inspired oasis. It's a modern high end home here in BF Homes, Paranaque. And honestly, the aesthetics of it all very or highly sought after, thanks in part, of course, to the architect, the famous architect who designed it. So you have high end finishes, you've got a relaxing vibe, a tropical oasis, as I mentioned. And there's so much more to it. And it's nice that we get to tour it at night. You really see what it looks like when all of the lights are lit up. So let's start the house tour. Today we've got a brand new house and lot for sale in BF Homes, Paranaque. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Priscello open house tour. So we are inside a very um, safe subdivision but still we have this. So I love the fact that you have trees already, you have landscaping. So you really see this house for the beauty, for the full potential that it has. So you have a pedestrian gate over here and then your a vehicle gate on the right most. Two trees flanking your pedestrian gate almost acts like a frame, doesn't it? And it also frames the house itself. So when we go inside, you have some senorita steps leading up to the main entrance. And then you have a garden here on the left. And it looks so wonderful thanks to the lighting and, of course, the garden itself. Now, when you peek through here, you'll see a deck over on the side that will eventually lead to a swimming pool in the backyard. Spoiler alert! <laughs> and then on this side, we have a three to four vehicle carport, depending on your vehicles. But also because you have, like, magkaiba kasi yung length of the carport on these two sides. So it'll depend on the vehicles. But what I really like here is once you enter your uh, vehicle gate, you really get to appreciate the facade of the house. Look at that. You have so many layers. You have nada, you have steel, you have white paint, you have matte black, steel, glass, and then you have the plants. So of course, we'll check that out later on. But for now, let's go through the main entrance, which of course is a solid nada door. You have a little bit of awning here to protect it from the weather as well as if someone were to enter the house of course. You have a digital door lock and then once you open the door, wow, layers, so many layers. And can I just say that chandelier is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so during the day you do not need to turn on your lights because Natural light will just come flooding in from everywhere. You have so many windows. You have uh, sliding doors also that act as windows. You have fixed windows up, uh, up top. And then from here, you can see your main stairs leading all the way to the top floor. And then several areas here on the ground floor. So the first one being this den. So this one you can turn into an office or even a theater if you want. So it's up to you what you want to uh, turn it into but it does have a, um, its own powder room. So this is basically the guest powder room. So you have your sink, gorgeous sink by the way, and your toilet. 
So the mirror really makes it feel more expansive. And then, sorry, excuse me. So you have your living area, right? Which, as I mentioned earlier, has a sliding door that can that will lead to the deck on the side. And then to continue to that, we have here the dining area. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm sorry. So we have the dining area accentuated by the gorgeous modern uh, chandelier. So obviously your table is going to go lengthwise that way. And then it's up to you actually how big you want the table to fit. But I would think that an, an eight or ten seater might be nice here. Yeah? Awesome. Right? <laughs> okay, so before we check out the backyard though, so over here in this pocket, we have the kitchen. So we have a U-shaped counter. These are quartz, gorgeous quartz, by the way. And then also no corner here. It's very, uh, it's filleted is what we use in, uh, you know, drawings, which means it's curved, right? So you, so dirt won't get stored in there. You should see six like done. You have storage up top. I know, right? Ang ganda nung. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if you can hear the people behind the camera. But yeah, this is gorgeous. So it's um, parang glass coated. And then framed, literally framed chat. So it's beautiful. And then you have your induction stove over here, your hood, more storage. The refrigerator is behind John. And then some storage here as well. And then you also have a door here that will lead to your service area. That is one pin light, but it is quite bright. So nandito naman ni mga abang. Yes, the dirty kitchen. So your service area slash dirty kitchen this is also where you can put your laundry machines. As nandito na rin naman yung abang. Pwede na rin if you want. And then a door leading out to the other side of the house. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So this is, or this, you know, this is where we came from, which is the three vehicle carport, three to four, depending on what vehicle. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. All right. So this is the staff quarters. So even her, even their doors, I know, very elongated, very. Actually, it looks very elegant, no? Because everything is elongated. And then here we have the tanks, nice and secure, actually. So ito since hindi naman nyan kita from the carport, nandun lang yan. Massive water tank, by the way. And then the heaters are covered. And yeah, look at look at the look at the windows and this thing. Look at the quality. Okay, so another thing I want to point out are the tiles. So here on the ground floor, apart from the service area or the dirty or the daily kitchen, get the tiles. It's nice and large, so that really adds to how chic. This house is. Yeah, and then, uh, and then if you open the doors, so either on that side or this side. <laughs> so you make it a new deck. Um, let me just. There we go. So I'm the magnet shape, so it really closes. It snaps. Okay, so we have a nice and serene swimming pool over here at the corner of your property with a waterfall feature. It sounds so nice. So the entire area from the side of the house all the way to the back, get it to you, flooring, a deck. So it's a composite, PVC composite deck, so wood and a mix of uh, man-made materials so that it doesn't warp or rot since it is right next to a swimming pool and it's also exposed to the elements. That ensures it's going to last longer. In landscape or Oh wow! So the, I don't know if you heard, but the landscape artist that they used here is the same person who basically did the landscaping for New Valley. That's why it looks so nice. <laughs> All right, hello. So I'm just gonna point this one out too in front of your um, dining table, which you didn't see earlier. Saying that that's John. You have some shelving where you can display your china, your decor, etc., and then more storage underneath. Open. Oh, okay, sing it. No, no, it's okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, oh, we're gonna do it right now. Okay, sing it. <laughs> so I was trying to open this earlier, Deva. Right? 
Kaso, someone needs to push. <laughs> Can you push? Thank you. <laughs> Ayan. So, it's an accordion type. Uh, thank you. Accordion type of glass panels. Para, you know, very easy to push too. Here, so, pag makain kayo dito, you can open this, open that. Fresh air. Then you can hear the sound of the trickling waterfall. So nice. Okay, so that is it for the ground floor. Let's now head up the second floor via the main stairs. And by the way, the stairs are also not out, just like the main door. Just look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe if you haven't already. So let us know that you enjoy these house tours because we love making these just for you. So the glass is obviously tempered glass. And then ang ganda ng little details niya, like this. So yung bakal, meron siyang carving out like that. It's, well, it's not actually a carving, but it's unique. So even the handrail, the way it's cut, it's very unique. Okay, so second floor landing, you're basically only going to be led to two doors over here. And then you'll notice that the switch plates are about a meter, a little higher than a meter off the ground. And you'll notice that some of them are digital, and some of them are physical switches. So these actually can control those. <laughs> So the fixed windows, okay, medyo nagagabi na, and can I just say, sobrang ganda ng bahay sa gabi. You can really appreciate the lighting. The chandelier is gorgeous. It's perfect for wine night, friends night, family night, any kind of night, really. And I'm sure that you can see the chandelier from the street, and that's gonna look really, really pretty. But if you wanted to close the curtains, let's see. So, is this is what, can I swipe? No, press press. Okay. Yung isa. Yung isa. Close. Yeah. This one. <laughs> oh, okay. So only two at a time. Pause. Okay. All right. So the other, con so it's basically uh, electronically controlled. So you don't have to worry about it. You do it from here. That's so dope. <laughs> okay, that being said though, let's go through here. So the doors have a oh digital door lock as well. Don't worry, I'm not gonna close it. I'm not gonna lock myself <laughs> out the door, <laughs> out a door. And then this is the master bedroom. So again, you have the switches over here, so physical switches and uh, uh, digital. Okay, you do it. <laughs> and there you go. So these are the wooden slats that we saw from outside. What they do is they help uh, stop the sun from coming into the room too harshly para hindi mainit yung kwarto. It also adds to ventilation, like it helps streamline the airflow. So when you open these windows, at least you have some nice air coming in without the heat. Okay, and then, oh, that's so nice. Okay, so this is basically just the side of your house. If it looks black, it's because the perimeter wall is gray. <laughs> and we're basically just seeing reflections. But there's still a bit of light coming from the side of the house. And then at, the, at this side, or rather on this side of the room, we have the walk-in closet. And wow, it feels like I'm in a store. If this were daytime, natural light would be streaming in from the third story window over there. But since it's nighttime, you get to see all of the lighting from inside of the wardrobe or the cabinets and also the chandelier and the light from the vanity. So it's very well lit. It looks like a store perfect for showcasing your uh, fashion and your clothes and your shoes and bags. And then over here at the end, no need for a door. You have the ensuite the toilet and bath with your his and her sinks your toilet over here on the left, and your partially enclosed shower space here on the right. You also have an awning window high up there, so no need for a vent because naturally the steam will go out. No need for um, exhaust. 
Oh, can I just say it smells great in here? Also. <laughs> okay. So it's nice and cozy, but still you have a lot of space in that wardrobe or that walk-in closet. It's beautiful. And over here we have another bedroom with a digital door lock. So you have this much space. You have your built-in wardrobe over here. This is one of the cleanest uh, mirrored doors that I've seen. Like, yes, I know it's the door for the wardrobe, but the mirror itself is cut so cleanly. So you have hanging space and shelving on the other side. Look at how that rolls. So smooth. No need to install other mirrors because okay. Then you have your desk slash vanity over here with some storage and under lighting. Sorry. <laughs> and then this much space. And you have a corner window over here. Okay, so the sun has already set, but you can, I don't know if you can tell. Look at the sky, it's so nice and blue. So every time it's gonna, or every time it's around 5 to 6 p.m. golden hour, this area, this, this area is gonna look amazing. It's gonna look like a picture. So these are fixed windows except for that and this. You can open those up to let the air in. It also has, of course, an ensuite, toilet and bath. So you're not a door. Well, complemented by storage down here. It looks nice with the vertical slats. You have a lot of counter space. Again, quartz with the filleted uh, corners, even the far corner over there. You have your sink, your PN, of course, your toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space with a rain shower. Let's close this. And head up the third floor. So I love how you can see bits of the garden going up the stairs just because you can see through the steps. This lighting is so cool. I've seen these before, but every time I see them, it always, it always makes me feel so entranced by it. It's so nice. And it reflects well this uh, uh, it's a mirror, but it does look like a mirror, doesn't it? And this window, during nighttime, it does kind of look like a mirror, doesn't it? But you see the chandelier and the night sky against it, and it looks so dramatic. Hopefully you can see that in the video. But if not, you have to go here and see it for yourself, because it's really, really that nice. Okay, so here on the third floor, again, we have the switches over here for the third floor landing. We have a singular lighting setup over here. So pretty. It's like it's just a glowing piece of art. And that's exactly what it is. But anyway, I digress. Here on the third floor landing, we have four points of access that we can go to. So here we have another door with a digital door lock. Basically, all the bedrooms have one. And then you have this much space. Quite reminiscent of the room that we just came from earlier. So you have the built-in wardrobe over here with the smoothly rolling glass doors, or mirrored doors rather, your vanity, and then a corner window over here with again a view of your neighborhood. Now it's also nice or worth noting that you are gonna be the highest point in this area. Most houses are gonna be lower than you. You're the only one who could oh fireworks! Sorry, I got this right. You can't see it though, because it's so far away. But there's fireworks in the distance. So you're the only one who can actually see that versus, you know, your neighbors, because you're the highest one in the area. Oh, sorry. And here is the ensuite toilet and bath. Again, with your sink, your toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> right next to that bedroom, we have another one, again with a digital door lock, but the configuration is slightly different now. So you have this much space, the outlets are configured in such a way that it might be best to have your TV on this side and the bed on that side. But it depends on you, you can configure it any way you want. Then you have your built-in wardrobe over here windows that you can open and then your ensuite 
toilet bath right here with your adorable sink, your uh, toilet, and then your partially enclosed shower space, still with the rain shower head. And then on this side, we have the final bedroom. Oh, okay, correction, not bedroom. It is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell from there, but these are actually leaves. They look like leaves. <laughs> okay, so this is the entertainment room or the family room, the game room, the music room, whatever it is that you want this to be. It's that room, but it's mostly for entertaining your family and guests because you have your windows over here, of course, during the day, it's going to be really bright. You can see the rest of your neighborhood as well as the skyline. But if you open this up, because it has access to the balcony, then it really becomes a space for entertaining people. Because you have a deck that really lets you appreciate your neighborhood and the skyline. And again, you're in BF. Oops, <laughs> might be too bright. You're in BF Homes, Paranaque, in the highest point at that. So you have an unobstructed view of your surroundings. Wow. So you have the prettiest house in the street, probably the neighborhood. You also have the prettiest view. Okay, so from the roof deck though, you can go back to the hallway via this set of sliding doors. back you have a view again of the chandelier and going down the main staircase which i will now do for a recap i was staring at these earlier and i was wondering what made it look different it's because walang katuloy yung handrail pababa it's just floating it's nice it's a little detail you know that i missed earlier anyway recap so you have 280 square meters of lot area which honestly it feels like this house is much bigger or the lot is much bigger than 280 square meters they really maximize the layout of this home and then you have 450 square meters of floor area divided amongst three levels and again you're the highest home here in your area you have a three to four vehicle carport depending on what kind of vehicles you have and then you have gorgeous landscaping all around including a swimming pool right here with a water feature that sounds really, really tranquil. You also have a den here on the ground floor that you can turn into an office or basically anything that you want it to be. It could be a theater room, but it is the one with access to the powder room here on the ground floor. And then a kitchen that's nice and tucked away in the corner over there and leads to its own service area or daily kitchen. So if you're anyone you know wants to see this handsome home that already comes with the high-end finishes, the fixtures, and basically, you'll be ready to live, to move in here the moment you get it. Wala ka nang papalitan. Everything is already perfect. You just need to add your own furniture. So if you want to see this for yourself, or you know someone who does, send this video to them. But if you want to see it for yourself, as you should, it's really, really impressive in person, send us a message or go to our website at www.pisello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with pre -sell. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.